if you guys hear this, well, I'm sorry. Very sorry. Very sorry. Very sorry. Very sorry. Sorry about that, guys, but, yeah, so, leave it there for, like, 12 to 24 hours, I would say, once you leave it in there, or what, you could leave it for there for, like, an hour, and then after, or after, you can see what I'll do, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take it out soon to show you guys, um, or, I'll just take it out soon to show you guys like how to like draw and stuff you know so yeah I'm gonna open it up now, guys. So yeah, it, ha it hasn't been in there like not even ten minutes yet. But you just have to get the rough shape of what it's gonna kind of look like. And this is also the time when you swipe off all the glue or access glue on it. Now, when you swipe off all the access glue, you can take another piece of your construction paper that you used and just wipe it all off. Make sure you don't get it all messy, because you don't want it to be messy. And then once you finish wiping it all down, sorry if you hear that. I just, like, there's no silence in my house, or no quietness in my house. It's always my sister and my brother that are fighting. Also, shout out to uh, uh, Rowan I 6 which is my brother, so you could go check out his channel. Uh, yeah, he makes, like, video game videos in there. He plays, like, Fortnite and Black Ops and stuff. Mortal Kombat, maybe. But, yeah. So, once you kind of swipe off all the access glue of this, and you have the rough shape, it's definitely not going to be like sturdy yet it's going to be very flimsy and that's why you're going to draw in it afterwards but then once you're done wiping off all the access glue take it and then what you do is sorry about that sorry about that guys my brother just barged in like a freaking idiot yeah my brother's butt sorry about that guys but yeah either way once you take it out, you're going to want to squish it all down so you know you get all the glue out. And then also, when you're squishing it all down, it hardens it. And that, that really helps, trust me, squishing it all down. So you squish it all down. And then after you squish it all down, take it. Take it and you put it back into your mold. And with that, you could either have a mold or you could have two tech decks. If you want to go the cheaper way, it is going to be two tech decks. It only costs around $10 for this mold. So you need to buy all the clamps and stuff. And then you need to buy the two tech decks. And at Target, or at my Target, where I live or my Walmart, they're three dollars and you could buy two tactics, so that's six dollars and then the clamps or the paper clips or whatever they are, they're around four dollars. And then also the tech decks come with trucks so you could put the trucks on it. But if you copyright or if you copy everything I do, I'll sue you. No I'm just kidding. But uh don't copy what I do. Get uh creative you could maybe take like a few, a few steps of advice. You could 
you can maybe like take one of my th you could maybe um you know uh draw my graphic instead of print the graph or draw on a graphic instead of printing it some people do that i think it's more artistic to do that because then you, you know, get that art in it so yeah But yeah, it's inside there, and yeah, so all you need to draw is colored pencils, uh, you need a uh, sharpie, fine point, or you could have a, a big side or a thin side or you can use both or you can just use a big side or just a thin side whatever you want to use for it and then you need construction paper a whole lot of construction paper to make these mirror boards it takes up a whole lot trust me uh and here i have this big thing of a bunch of crayons and colored pencils in there and so what i do is i take that take a bunch of different colors in there and i just make it into one graphic and here's a sneak peek of my uh one month graphic it's, it's i'm about to introduce it to my website and uh every month i'm gonna have a new graphic and from the last month i take uh i i stop selling these so once i hit two months in of fingerboarding or two months in of making this fingerboard company then i will stop making this graphic and i will stop selling them on my website or at school and so if you want to cop this you only have limited edition time limited time to do it it's got medium kicks medium concave or medium kicks uh high concave and it's pretty good it's pretty good fingerboard it's sturdy i'm about to poke the holes in i'm about to put it on my website too so if you guys are watching this then you could cop this for, for whatever the price is on my website but yeah you could go to my website at how mpa fingerboards com and you could purchase uh, a deck you could purchase grip tape you could purchase trucks wheels anything you guys want i have it on my website i'm trying to make the lower prices so more people buy them now i have this thing up here my brother and me made it uh you guys can also buy it on my website i'm pretty sure i'm gonna sell it on my website and it's a limited edition um uh longboard fingerboard deck it has a uh, longboard uh I don't know if you guys can see that good, but hold on. It's a uh, longboard thirty, longboard thirty-two or thirty-three millimeters, nine ply, uh, camel grip, one piece of camel grip with it. Uh, so let me switch it around. So this is the top ply. That's the grip. Uh, how EMPA finger warts long board 33 millimeter nine ply camel grip it's in this little thing I think it's cool because you could rip it down here as well and then comes with a piece of grip to match with it so yeah I'm about to go back to it and you guys are about to see the rest of the video so yeah so once you see it, you kind of get the shape. Leave it in there, right? But yeah, while it's in there, I'm going to be showing you guys my graphics and limit edition graphics and everything that's about to come out. Or what is so yeah. We're going to start with the fingerboard fingerboards. Because I want to start with the fingerboard fingerboards first. Sorry about that. 
Uh, but yeah, I have all my graphics right here. Uh, here's a, a model of the cruiser deck. It has a grip on it too. Uh, yeah, and then here are all my decks. They're all handmade. I don't make any decks by machine, or I, I don't have anyone else to do it besides me. So yeah, here's one deck. It's the Howie MP Fingerboard Cruiser deck, and these two are in stock currently. They are. They have the same back as well. So they're in stock. Uh, so if you want to cop a cruiser, go ahead. Because these ones are. These have pop. You hear that? You drop them, they bounce up. The spring loaded. Literally. So, yeah. If you want to cop some high quality concave and kicks decks, then you could buy those ones. Those are in stock. Um, uh, this one. Limited edition, a uh, top crease, as you can see, it's perfectly cut to have a grip gap in there. And then, super high kicks and high concave, as you guys could see. But yeah, super high kicks, super high concave, and that thing's got pop. That's, like seriously, come on now. Drop it, it literally bounces up. It's like, like, this is like one of my favorite graphics as well because it has the palm tree, the H in the middle. Uh, this is a wear graphic, so if you want this one, it's limited edition. There's only one piece of it in the whole entire world. You'll be the rarest person, the, or you'll have the rarest fingerboard in the world. So yeah, uh, the limited edition deck. Very good concave and kicks. Very nice pop. Um, yeah, let me addition right there. Now, I have uh, some more decks. These ones are also in stock. They're all the same ones. Uh, these ones are selling out pretty fast. Uh, these are the, uh, not the, they're not limited edition, but they're kind of limited edition because they're not that many. They got a whole lot of pop too. See that? That thing's got the whole entire thing of pop. Basically what it is, is the one graphic, the pro model deck. As you can see, it's pro model deck. Um, but yeah, that's the pro model. And we have all four of them in stock currently. You could buy them off me. Right now, currently. Now, here are some rarer decks. Here's the most rare deck. It is uh, Happy Face, How MPA Film Board. With the snake graphic. I like that graphic a whole lot. It's got some pop. I like that. It's got pop. It's got a whole lot of pop. All my decks really have pop, but this one has a lot of pop, too. Uh, I'm going to put the limited edition in one pile. And then, yeah, here are, I put these for cheap on my website already, and they're limited edition. There's only one stock, but they're pretty flimsy, all right? And then and the shape isn't that high quality. So here's the uh, blue top ply, uh with the palm tree graphic on the bottom. As you can see, it's kind of flimsy. Um, it's got a quiet little tap. You can definitely do tricks on it. Uh, medium high kicks, uh, high concave. Uh, it's got shape. It does have shape. If you look in the lighting, you can kind of see that shape. But yeah, pretty cool in addition deck. That was like the least sturdy. Here's the most sturdy one out of them. Uh, orange top ply. This is my favorite. Uh, that's the bottom. It's got the palm tree with the H in the middle. So yeah. Uh, also very limited edition. So yeah, it's got some pop. It's got high kicks. Got, or it's it's got medium kicks. 
It's got high concave. I know about that high concave though. So yeah, if you guys want to order some decks off me, I got you. Pretty rare decks. There's not that many in the world right now. Uh, and I'm kind of introducing this deck. Uh, this deck is my one month deck, and every month I'm gonna make a new graphic of uh, another deck, and it'll be like th the next one would be two months, and then after that, or once I start, once I make the two months deck, I'm gonna take off, I'm gonna take this one off my website and stop selling them. So if you wanna buy these, they're very, very, very limited edition. They're only here for a month, and they're, they're also, um, you that? High, high quality decks. High quality, high kicks, high concave. It's got, it's got pop. But yeah, you could do incredible tricks with this. And if you want to see my grip tape, I got you. I'm about to pull it out right now. So here's my grip tape. Definitely got a whole lot of this. Camel grip. Camel skate grip. But yeah, it's camel skate grip. It fits any cruiser deck, any fingerboard deck. Let's see, it fits perfectly good. There's not gonna be any things that won't change it. But yeah, I'm gonna have all that soon into my website. But I have grip and I'll have my decks all on my website already. So yeah, if you wanna go cop grip by itself, they're there. If you wanna cop wheels by itself, they're there. Bushing, they're there. Trucks, they're there. Hardware, they're there. So yeah, I'm gonna take out this and show you the drawings now. Sorry about the long wait, but yeah. And then you take it out, and boom. That's the deck, as you can see. We need to file this down, so when you file it down, you need some stuff, or not some stuff. You need a little thing, and I bet your mom probably has this. This is not a joke or like a meme time or anything. I'm just actually saying this because it means your mom probably has this, or maybe your older sister has this. If you have an older sister, maybe she'll let you borrow one. But it's a nail filer. This works perfectly fine. You just file down the edges, make sure. It, it looks good, it feels good. Make sure there's nothing really bad about the deck that you're making. And once you're making this deck and you sell it online, it should be high quality. And I honestly have no clue why I'm selling this deck. Because it's going to break within like three hours of fingerboarding on it. But yeah. File it down. And then once you have it, to have your fingerboard ready. And once you have it all good in the position, File it all down. Get it that shape. Get that little. Now, if you kind of mess up on your shape, don't give up on making that deck. You because you could easily file it down with nail file or a sandpaper or anything really. It's possible. There's a bunch of ways to do any of this. And then after you get your graphic ready and it's all hard, you could either drill holes into it or you could take 
a thumbtack and do it. And I recommend if you're a kid and you don't have any parents that are willing to help you, then you should definitely use a thumbtack. Because thumbtacks, they're good. They're little pokey needles and you can just poke it, right? And you poke it through and then you twist it around and then it comes back out. That's how I make some of my fingerboards. And most people are, are whenever someone buys one of the fingerboards or one of the uh, fingerboards that I drill, drill or not drill, that I put the thumbtack holes into, uh, they always say that the holes are better aligned. Like they're aligned a whole lot better. I'm like, dang. I should be making more of these. But yeah, if you hear that, that's my sister yelling to my mom, and my sister is very disrespectful. So I hate to my sister, no I'm kidding, but yeah. That's my sister yelling to my mom, of course. Uh, but yeah. You guys are not gonna be watching till this, but, but who cares? So yeah. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe and share. And if you could help me, then I would really thank you to go or for going to my website and even just telling me that you looked on my website on the comments. But yeah, if you guys watch to the end of this video, alert, alert, doing a giveaway. All right, and this giveaway is uh gonna be announced or it's not gonna it's not, the winners aren't gonna be announced in a long time because i need people to start commenting and doing all this stuff and then so what happens is i take one of my pro model decks i also have three sheets under tape i'm gonna give them i'm gonna put it in a note i'm gonna bubble wrap it put it in a bubble note maybe and send it to them but then I might send you something extra so just stay alert to that but yeah if you want to win the giveaway or if you want to be entered into the giveaway you could go in the comment section right now and you could say to me you could say to me that you liked comment commented on this video which you didn't have to say that but you say you liked this video and you subscribe to my YouTube channel and then what happens is you go to my Instagram and then you follow me there and then you send me a video asking for me to give you my fingerboard. So yeah, if you guys want to hear more about this then just stay till the end of my videos. So yeah. Uh, giveaway winners will be announced. Uh, I'm gonna tell you it in the description, but yeah, guys. So, see you guys later. Peace.